All right, I'm going to start my statement again. Um, oh, it's actually got quite, I think, my last statement where I started to, and my phone buzzed and I turned it off. Um, uh, 20, I'm going to start a statement. I had to change it from the original statement. Uh, because these people said they were agents from the agency stationed in the courthouse. Okay? And they're not. They're dirty cops mixed in with an occult. And I fell for it and so did everybody else till lately. So if you, um, I'm going to start at the beginning. Ten th uh, in 2017, my ex-husband Dave and I got, um, a loan for 10,003 office retirement fund, something like that. And we were going to renovate our house and move out to the country for a retirement home. Okay. He, um, we put 4,500 in the back driveway, 2,000 in the bathroom. Uh, he got an 1,800 to $2,000 bonus and, um, five, six thousand dollars to disappear from the safe. Everybody knew of it and he wouldn't give it back. He made 110000 a year, <clears throat> so we had plenty of money, okay? Um, then, well, I, he worked midnights, so I'd stay up, and I scraped wallpaper. Uh, my grandson, Gabe, Danny, my son, Danny, and Josh helped um, put wainscoting, crown molding up. Um, renovated all kinds of different rooms to make the house look pretty to sell it to get more money. It took me months. Okay. Well, while I was up renovating, I, and Dave worked midnight, so I'd stay up and do that and then sleep with him since I wasn't working. All right. That, um, the other group outside. It used to be so quiet here. I could hear my friend across the street talk outside on her phone. The harassment's day and night. And at times you can actually hear the words inside of them screaming as they go by. The harassment's day and night. From that occult and the Syrian calling group. They're outside my house all the time driving by. Okay. Well, I um, <clears throat> could hear voices outside. So, and my car was getting scratched a long ways alongside. So what I, we did is we got a security system because I'm home alone and if they're that close, I got a security system, okay? I had my 50th party, everybody was there. Kids had relay races, everybody had a good time, okay? Come August, my oldest son and his wife, they fought all the time, would break up and get back together. And, um, to fix their marriage, they went back to a church. I told them not to, they break them up. Oh, they're not like that. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Okay. And they had even asked me to babysit, but I always took care of four of my other grandkids and I couldn't put four more on top. There's not enough ice cream in the world for that one to watch eight children. Um, so, um, Come October, <clears throat> I have already got my house renovated, okay? I find Dave crying in the changing room. I can't, I can't, I can't. I get up. I go in there and I'm like, it's in the middle of the night. Rivers of tears. Why can't you? He grabs me, he squeezes me, and pushes his head into my body. And I'm wiping his tears. I'm like, who are you talking to? No. Well, I help him back to bed, and he cries himself to sleep. Well, I got up to find out who the phone, who was talking on the phone, and a woman answered, just do it. He's like, what are you doing? And I went, nothing. I got in bed. I thought, what on earth? You know what I mean? Well, um, he told my grandson, Daniel, Enjoy Grandma now. You won't have her after Christmas. Where are you going? Nowhere. I'm like, cut it out. They even start scaring him. We weren't even fighting. Mm -mm. 
He was leaving to work early. I was going to have my daughter-in-law, Dixie, follow him because I had a white SUV and it sticks out like a sore thumb. So, and she had a green car, which it just fit in anywhere. And thank God she didn't. He called me at work. Karen, I'm in trouble. I said, well, what do you mean you're in trouble? She, he said, I crashed a machine. I said, what do you mean you crashed the machine? I said, what happens? I have to have a drug test. Well, we're Christians. We don't do drugs. And I'm like, so what? He said, you don't understand. I'm in trouble. He had been exposed to somebody doing pot so high and so long that they had to send it off to make sure he didn't participate. That's suspended for a week. I think that's when he hired the guy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So he, I was starting to winterize the house. And I tarred around, we had a 1938 house. I tarred around the blacktop and we had 1938 windows on the basement and um, plexiglass and the windows on top of it. You could just push it open and slid in the basement. But I tarred around it and their old hose right beside it. I couldn't get off so I popped it up with a rake. He got home. He said, um, oh, we got in bed. I hear pop, pop, bang, bang. The puppies are screaming in the basement. And I'm like, you're going to go check? And he's like, no. So I'm looking out the bedroom windows. I don't see anything. Well, it's, it's dark. And I keep waiting for the security system to go off. And nothing happens. So I get back in bed. I eventually fall back to sleep. We get up in the morning. The plexiglass is cracked, not broke. The antenna's pulled out. It looks like they tripped over the brake. We called the Perry police. They said it makes no sense. <clears throat> Why would they go through a basement window? Got all these upstairs ones. It's like they knew where the security system was. That officer was all over them. All over them. You're part of it. They're individually set up. They are. They're beepers. Okay. Okay. Loud, aren't they? Okay, so, um, he says something else and it put him in the middle of it. And that officer's all over him. I don't believe you just got home. You got in bed with your wife. You hear pot, you hear bangs, and you didn't get up and go look. And your wife's laying next to you. And they knew where the security system, you're part of this. And I, he's like, as Dave says something else, put him right in the middle. I'm like, he has to be misspeaking. We've been married 30 years. I'm like, sir, would you mind just driving by? He's like, ma'am, we'll be driving by. And he's in Dave's face. I'll be checking on you. He storms off. Well, come Christmas, um, we had bought my oldest son, John, him and my other bikes, the kids' uh, bikes, put great big name tags I made, like three by five, uh, with the child, children's names on it, and from Grandma Karen and Papal Dave, or Grandpa Dave, I don't know, and we called, uh, we showed up there and they weren't there, so we called them, we got permission to leave them in the kitchen. And their gift cards. We came back and um, they were having like a buffet dinner with their sister Jackie. Went in there and I'm like, hey, do you like your bikes? Why? You didn't buy them. Some other lady in church did. Then Melissa's making fun of Dave for having pot in the system. Dave, do you not know the difference of how they smoke pot and cigarettes? Did you not know what they were doing around you? He's 60. And I'm dying laughing. I'm thinking, you cheated on me with a drug addict whore, didn't you? You'll get caught. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Stupid. Okay.
Come march. Our house is done. Okay? She makes fun of him big time. When we talk about on tape, I realize that's when he hired the guy. Okay? Come march. Our house is up for sale. Bill German was our realtor. He wasn't um, in the area all the time, so he let me show it. And I had told Dave when I got done cleaning, I was going to get cleaned up and go to Belden for coffee. So I went and got a shower, got cleaned up, got the puppies in their kennels, and um, went to um, uh, to leave. And I called him right before I left. He's like, Karen, go link away. I'm like, dude, I just go to a bailing. He's like, Karen, go link away. And I said, Dave, I just go, but he starts yelling at me. You don't make Dave mad. I'm like, fine. I've lived there 25 years. I used to live in it. I work in Akron. I can jump highways. I go and it's actually open. I jump five lanes. There's a car, Davis, the next road over. I thought, well, they'll get in the other lane. They jump five lanes, got behind me. That's weird. The other lane was open. I move over, he moves over. I'm like, that's weird. I go to turn down at Genoa. He goes to turn to I'm like, oh, come on now. If you're following, I just got a bigger black SUV within like two months. And um, <clears throat> I thought, if you're following me, <clears throat> I'll go down to Bailey. And if it's my imagination, they'll just keep going. So I got my foot on the brake and then my wheel turned left. And one car goes by two and he hits me doing 45. Oh, the officer said he'd be doing 45 or more. He got stuck between me and the building. Okay. A ranger pulled up and said, I seen him hit you. And I called 911. And he said, I got to get it to work. Okay. Well, the Perry officer shows up and he has me pull over. I forgot to tell him there was a black car. Looked just like strangers sitting off on Bailey and took off when the sirens got closer. The ranger probably seen it too. Okay. Has me pull over and the guy's acting crazy. He's like, I can't let you go home alone. I didn't know there was a hit on my life. Okay. So I, um, he has me call Dave and has, makes Dave come home from work. Okay. So, um, everybody kept saying I should know Savannah. And it's like, I know her parents. And I never had problems with them. Not at all. Right before their wedding, that minister of their church is a pastor. Is a complete pastor. He made fun of Jack's sister. Made her run out of the sanctuary crying. And since they already paid for their wedding, they went ahead and had their wedding there and then they left. Her parents still went there and they would visit occasionally. And bring the kids. So I didn't know them. I knew of them. But I didn't know. And you know. Here she's in her 20s. Young enough to be Dave's granddaughter. And they, said, they look at me weird. That I, Why don't you know? So I looked her up. And the guy that hit me. Was her Facebook friend. Okay. My one ex-friend. I um. Before we move out, so it's March or April, um, we, I go down and I've done nice things for, for years. Um, about midnight, we're walking out from helping her clean her apartment and she gave me boxes because we were going to be moving and a grayish blue van pulls up, side door goes open, white man, tall, black hair, jeans, Crash white hoodie, white tennis shoes. Pulls his hood up over his head. I got her. I'm like, go back in the building. I already had my door open. I threw the boxes in my car. I jump in the front seat, start it. I throw it in reverse. He hits the back of my car. She got away. And he lunges around the building. And she's standing at the entrance with her mouth open. Okay? And I peel out of there. Um, we 
sell our house and we pick out a house 10 miles, almost 11 miles out of Ravenna in the middle of a woods. It's like I picked it up. <laughs> I picked it out. You don't want to live there. I picked it up. This is how sick this is. Like I said, this whole thing's sick. Um, we didn't know when we closed on both houses because they kept changing the dates. So we rented the storage unit in green because it was cheaper. And then we stored stuff at my youngest son, Danny's. And we were lucky enough to close on both, but we lived like on the bare minimum for a few days. Um, we went down to get a load from Danny's. And um, we went to Mass and Walmart to get curtains for the basement so it looked lifted. And um, we see John and his kids in there and they're real little back then. Running toward us, Guamo Popo, Guamo Popo, what you doing here? Buying curtains for the basement. What are you doing? I don't know. And we leave, okay. On the Barrett back, near away from Maslin, there's a white car ahead of me. Dave's following me with his truck and trailer. And uh, all of a sudden, the white car walks over for no reason. Jean white man, black hair, steps out. Okay? And steps out. And I'm like, Dave, I think I'm getting car jacked. I throw it in reverse. Where are you at? I like turned down the side road. What do you mean you turned down the side road? So I floored it in reverse. And, um... I, I'm flooring it in reverse, okay? And um, he never came back. And a white car started pulling towards him. He stepped back in before he could turn around and peeled out of there. I yelled at him like a third of my life. 